name's Kayleen and I will be showing you how to find the um, Rate's Law equation from the reactants A and B and also how to find the order of your reactants A and B. So to find the order of reactant A, you want to find two equations in your trials where the concentration of B is the same. So for this one, we would do we would pick trials 1 and 2 because they have the same equation, I mean concentration. So we would do the rate which equals K, which is your rate law constant, times the concentration of A, which is 3 times 10 to the negative third, to the X times the concentration of B, which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, to the Y. And then you would divide that by trial 1, which the rate is 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth, equals your rate law constant, times 1.5, times 10 to the negative third to x and 1.5 times 10 to the negative third to the y. So for this, your k's cancel out because they're exactly the same and so do your concentrations of b. So this would equal 2, 2.72 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth and this would equal 2 to the x. So your x equals 1. So the order of reactant A would be a first order reaction. So to find the order of B, you would do the same thing, only you want to find two equations in which the concentration of A is the same. So in this case, we would pick trial 1 and 3 because they're the same. So we would take our rate for trial 3, 2.72 times 10 to the negative fourth equals your rate law constant, times trial A, or reactant A, times 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, x, and then reactive b, 3.0 times 10 to the negative third to the y, divided by trial 1, 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth equals your rate law constant times reactive a, 1.5 times 10 to the negative third to x, and 1.5 times 10 to the negative third to the y. So in this case, your k's cancel out, and so do your a. So 2.72 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth equals 2, which would equal 3.0 times 10 to the negative third divided by 1.5 times 10 to the negative third, which also equals 2 to the y, so your y equals 1, so the order of b is also first order. So the last thing to do is to write the rate law equation, and the generic rate law equation is rate equals k times the concentration of a to the x times the concentration of b to the y. So in this case, your rate would equal k times a, and we already found x when we found the order of a, so that'd be a 1, and b, and we found the order of y, which would be the uh, order of b, which is also 1. And then to find your k, k is the rate law constant, you take 1, divided by meters to the power of the total order, minus 1.
which in this case 1 plus 1 would be 2, so to the total order is 2 minus 1 would equal 1, and then times seconds.